what's going on guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm kind of shaking it up a little bit i just went to cinema wasteland in strongsville ohio really cool convention there was a texas chainsaw massacre 50 year reunion um there so they had like eight people from that and uh so i'm just pretty much going to show off everything i got at this convention um at the very end i'll show you the major thing so make sure you stay tuned for that but uh got a whole stack of movies here i just kind of wanted to show you guys i just got out so i'm still like really pumped um so there was these were like five bucks these first two incarnate never saw it looks pretty decent it's got two face in it um prevenge goofy yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these uh rlj e releases with the slip covers so and i didn't own this one i was like five bucks i can i'm not gonna pass that up and then um Barn 2. I was super excited to finally pick this up. I went to the um, premiere in Pittsburgh when this premiered well, like last October or something in Pittsburgh. So really, really excited to finally pick that up. Really cool that those guys were there. They got a lot of good movies. Next up, uh, Diabolic DVD had their own like uh, table, which I thought was very interesting that they started doing that. I got Messiah of Evil here. And then... Yeah. If you're a movie fan, definitely check out these conventions because they're willing to cut deals for multiple movies and also like they're cheaper here than most places, especially if you pay with cash. So they're, they're willing to do some deals for you. Um, I realize these are all going to be backwards. Um, as you're looking at me, I'm backwards. That's okay. Um, Leaf Erickson Day. This was only 20 bucks. Uh, Messiah of Evil with the slip. I don't really know too much about this one. I just know that everyone that sees it seems to love it. So, ooh really excited and then um the next several are from severin i was really excited to pick up some of their releases unfortunately like a handful of the ones i wanted they'd already sold out um, it's saturday morning um i was hoping to pick up four flies on gray velvet and dracula versus frankenstein but those unfortunately were sold out already so i ended up getting four titles from them. this here legacy of blood looks like a really fun uh movie from 1978 <laughs> showing the back like you can read it up next all about evil really excited to watch this one too looks like some goofy fun um i'm all in for it and natasha leone i was always a big fan of her i always really liked her all the way back to detroit rock city days next up uh faceless uh, i believe this is a 4k i think um really excited to break into this one ever since they released it i really wanted to check it out um because I don't know a single thing about this one. I just really thought it looked like a lot of fun. So I, I'm going to give it a shot. Up next is Axion Mutant. <laughs> um, I think it just looks like cheesy fun. I believe this is a 4K too. I love how movies like this are just like skipping the whole Blu-ray phase and then they go right to 4K. <laughs> I just think that's so, that's, that's so good. That's we're, We live in a hell of a time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, there's that looks like a lot of goofy fun really excited about it all right and then the rest well before i get into the vinegar syndrome i'll just show you show you some loosey gooseys this is a grizzly sticker that the severin guys threw in for free super excited this thing's like massive too you can see it's like the size of my hand i'm a 5'7 white dude so my hand's not that impressive but like still like it's as big as my face awesome thank you guys for that also uh i had to go and get my girlfriend something every time i go to one of these things i like to just kind of find something fun for her um a movie that i showed her a couple years ago for the first time ever was trick or treat so she's a big beanie fan had to get her a beanie super excited uh, i need to tell her to keep that on there because that that's like the stickers on hats you know like those like hologram stickers it just makes you look fresh so yeah make sure you keep that on there then vinegar syndrome's up next they throw in this keychain and this little rubber bracelet um for all of my fellow millennials remember when these rubber bracelets were the thing that and silly bands oh my god all right next up is bio zombie these are all the rest of them are vinegar syndromes looks like a fun time i'm uh admittedly zombie films aren't my favorite um but i've heard this one's just kind of I got a lot of fun colors going on and uh looks like a really fun time so shit why not so there's uh bio zombie all right next up is freeway 
Now, another one I didn't know much about until they released this one not too long ago. Um, I think they released this less than six months ago. This is a 4K. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Reese Witherspoon is in this as well. So really excited to check that out, especially like that. I'm excited to see how that comes into play. And then I also got Freeway 2, which was just, just released um, very, very recently. These new slip covers feel uh, almost powdery. I don't know if this just like these ones I got, but I'm, I'm, I dig it. I like powdered uh, sugar donuts, so that's pretty neat. There's um, Freeway 2. Again, I think Natasha Leone is in this one. So really excited to add these two. Look how nice they look together. Their spines backwards just the way you like it. Now, up next is Kuruku, Beast of the Amazon. I am a massive, massive fan of 1950s black and white. Whoa, this is in color. Nice. I'm a big fan of 1950s in color, uh, like monster movies. And from what it seems like, Vinegar Syndrome's kind of dip, dip in their toe. I was going to say dick in their toe. Um, into kind of these older releases, which I'm super excited about because that's right up my alley and they're cheaper than most of their other releases too. These ones are like selling for I think like 22 bucks starting off, which is what their old like back before it, old prices went up and everything. That's what they used to be. Um, so it's nice to see films back in that range again before they go back even higher. Up next is Frostbiter Wrath of the Windego. I don't know much about this one either. I was when they first announced this one, I was gonna skip on it because honestly, it doesn't, it didn't look too exciting. Um, it looks very cheap, um, but that looks like a lot of fun actually. Like the pictures of this and whatnot. And I heard again nothing but fantastic things about this movie, so I was really excited to pick that up. Ugh, there's the back of that there. So yeah, one that I wasn't gonna originally plan on buying, but everybody loves it, so and I'm not picky with movies at all. Next up is Evil Laugh. Another one that, well, I shouldn't say another one because I, I've heard of this one before they released it. And uh, the cover is very nostalgic. I remember seeing it all the time. This is kind of a slasher I haven't heard too good of things of, but again, I'm a massive fan of all slashers. Well, not all. Have you guys seen Nail Gun Massacre? Uh, so, yeah, Evil Life. Excited to finally check that one out after just seeing the cover for two and a half decades. Devonsville Terror. Um, I think this one is 1983. I was almost thinking this could have been 70s. But, uh, yeah. Whoa. One I'm really excited about checking out. Hold on a second. One that I'm really... This shit's good. Uh, uh, Pink Starburst. C4, uh, Devonsville Terror. Donald Pleasance is in this one. It's directed by Uli Lamel, the, who did Boogeyman and a bunch of other boring shit. So, um, I mean, we'll see, you know, really excited. I love that cover too, which actually makes sense that this has this cover because the Boogeyman was just released. Again, same director and uh, uniformity. Yeah, I, I love that shit. And then, last but not least, before I show off my big, big thing, I'm going to have to go home and uh, to display that and show you guys, is Primal Rage. This is a 4K. What other 4Ks were there? Uh, I think just Freeway and Freeway 2 from Vinegar are 4Ks and this one. So, another one that I've known about for a long time. I think Code Red originally deleted, uh, released this. Christ. Um, so, and I never got to check it out. And I've always wanted to. It looks like a lot of fun. Just great, cheesy fun from 88. So, yeah, 4Ks of that. Let's uh, stack these all up together so I can show you the money shot before the actual money shot. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. How fun. We have fun at these things. Um, and also, for people that... Uh, Cinema Wasteland is a convention in Strongsville, Ohio, like I already mentioned. They do shows twice a year, um, most of the time. This year, they have a flyer here. I thought I'd show this to you guys. So of course, it's going to be backwards. But they're planning on doing a sleepaway camp uh, reunion, September 29th through October 1st. It's going to have Felissa Rose, Chris Collette, Karen Fields, Catherine Cammie, Tom Vandell, and also uh, Tom Savini will be 
uh, showing up. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. This is kind of a much more smaller convention than you're typically used to. Horror Hound and Days of the Dead are kind of the heavy hitters right now. And uh, it's it shows, those shows are getting very crowded and stressful. Um, I am literally towards the end of the parking lot and there's no parking, like there's all the parking in the world available back here. Um, it's super cool. They got like local places too. It's just, it feels a lot more uh, cute. I'm trying to think of a better word to describe it, but it just, it's, it's very wholesome. It's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. If you're a fan of conventions, try and make it out. They do reunions all the time. A couple years ago, they did uh, uh, My Bloody Valentine one, which was my first show actually coming to these things. So I'm always going to have a soft spot in my heart for this cute little convention. So, yeah, I'm going to quit blabbering and I'm going to show you guys what's in this bad boy. Super excited to show you guys. All right. See you in a sec. I can't even explain how excited I am to finally meet some of these people and acquire this piece. Um, this isn't a 1974 original, it is a 1980, which um, by my estimation and research is still super, super rare. Um, so I'll go through some of the signatures here. That's William Vale, who played Kirk. Really, really nice guy. And then right under him here, we got Terry McMahon, who definitely has the coolest signature, in my opinion. Super cool. And then, Right here we got Alan Danziger who played Jerry. This guy was so funny. He was just so amped up. Kept calling himself Chainsaw Jerry. He had these little pins that lit up and his own beef jerky. <laughs> he was really funny. John Dugan was super, super nice. Really cool. And then um, I actually previously had Gunnar Hansen on this piece. He was the only signature on this poster prior to this convention. So was very excited to see that. Um, we're excited to get this piece with him on it. Then right next to him there is Edwin Neal, plays the Hitchhiker. He was super funny too, very animated guy, really personable. And then down here we have some of the people who worked on uh, the movie. Here we have uh, Kim Henkel, who's a screenwriter. And then you can even see kind of his name in the credits there, story and screenplay by Kim Henkel. And then um, right here we have Daniel Pearl, who did the cinematography. So, so excited. They also had Roger Bartlett there, who I think made the song that played on over the radio. But uh, these signatures ended up being like 40 and 50 bucks. So I was like, I'm, I'm good with this, these ones that I've got now. Um, so, yeah, here's one more uh, overview of this. Again, another pretty much grail piece, I think, in my collection. Um, I'm always excited to see. I know there's a couple more um, actors from this still around, and uh, I'll absolutely be taking this with me to further conventions if any of them ever do show up. But yeah, super excited for this piece. If you guys want to see pictures with me, I took or pictures of me, I guess, with the everyone I got signed on this poster. Um, I've got those all posted at uh, Slashing Captain on Instagram. You can follow me there. I also post um, Slasher Film Reviews at, with Fun Facts and Kill Counts and other pictures of my collection. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching this different little video I had for the convention I went to. Again, I had a massive blast and I'm super, super excited for what I came away with. All right, see you guys next time.